welcome to js online tuitions i hope you're doing fine today we're going to be looking at the answers of mathematics first paper 2 of 2017 so we're going to look at section a so we're going to start with question 1a question 1a reads given that matrix m is equal to 3 negative 2 5 x loma numero 1 Find the value of x for which the determinant of m is 22. Loma numero 2, hence find the inverse of m. So we're going to start with Loma numero 1. Find the value of x for which the determinant of m is 22. So for Loma numero 1, we are supposed to calculate the value of x for which the determinant is uh, 22. So we are going to write down our matrix M. So we have been given that matrix M is equal to 3, negative 2, 5, X. And we have been told that the determinant of M is uh, 22. So we have been told that our determinant of M is uh, 22. And we have been told to calculate the value of x. So we're going to say that the determinant of m is equal to we're going to say we're going to multiply the numbers in the major diagonal minus the numbers in the minor diagonal. So what I mean is that we're going to multiply 3 and x there. Then we're also going to multiply negative 2 and five so we're going to say uh three multiplied by x these are numbers in the major diagonal minus the numbers in the minor diagonal so there we have negative two multiplied by five and uh the determinant of m we have been told that is 22 so we can write down 22 there it's equal to 3 multiplied by x, that's 3x, minus negative 2 multiplied by 5, that's a negative 10. So we can say 22 is equal to 3x. Then we're going to say negative multiplied by negative, we're going to have positive there, positive 10. And when we reach this stage, we can collect the like terms. So 10 is going to go to the other side of the equation. And when it goes to the other side of the equation, it's going to become a negative. So we're going to say 22 minus 10 is equal to 3x. 22 minus 10, that's 12, is equal to 3x. So uh, we can say... 12 is equal to 3x and to calculate the value of x there we're going to divide both sides by 3 3 here 1 3 here 1 3 here 1 3 into 12 we know that's 4 so we can say x is equal to 4 so that's our answer x is equal to 4 Then Loma numero 2 reads, hence find the inverse of M. So for that matrix M, we can calculate the inverse since we know the value of X, which is uh, 4. So we can say matrix M is equal to uh, 3, then we have negative 2, then 5. Then since we have calculated the value of x as 4, we are going to write down our 4 here. And uh, we can say that uh, the symbol of inverse is written in this form. So that is going to be equal to 1 divided by the determinant of m. Then multiplied by the matrix. When you reach this stage, you need to know something. Uh, when we started, I said 
that when finding the determinant you multiply the numbers in the major diagonal then minus the numbers in the minor diagonal so when you're calculating the inverse there ah when you're calculating the inverse the matrix is going to change the numbers in the major diagonal 3 and 4 there they are going to interchange or we are going to swap these numbers so it means 3 will come there and 4 will come there then the numbers in the minor diagonal negative 2 and 5 we are going to change their symbols so let us start with uh, the numbers in the major diagonal so for the numbers in the major diagonal there we are going to inter interchange them so we are going to have a 4 there and we are going to have a 3 there then the numbers in the minor diagonal are going to change their symbols. So negative 2 there is going to be 2. Then 5 is going to be negative 5. Then we can say the inverse of uh, m there is equal to 1 divided by... We know that our determinant is 22. So multiplied by 4, 2, negative 5... Three. So that's going to be our answer. So that's going to be uh, the inverse of matrix M. Let us look at question B. So question B reads: A survey carried out at Kamu Lima farming block showed that 44 farmers planted maize 32 planted sweet potatoes 37 planted cassava 14 planted both maize and sweet potatoes 24 planted both sweet potatoes and cassava 20 planted both maize and cassava 9 planted all the three crops and 6 did not plant any of these crops Roman number 1 illustrate this information on a Venn diagram so we are supposed to illustrate the information on the Venn diagram. So the first thing that we're going to do, we are going to say let uh, M represent maize, then P represent potatoes, then C represents cassava. Since we have three, uh, we have these three types of crops. So that's going to be our first thing. So we are going to say let M represent represent maize then P represent potatoes and C represent cassava then we can draw our Venn diagram so we can say that this set is going to be for maize then this one for potatoes, then this one for cassava. And uh, let us look at uh, the information that we have been given in the question. So a survey carried out at Kamolima farming block showed that 44 far farmers planted maize, that two planted sweet potatoes, that seven planted cassava, 14 planted both maize, in sweet potatoes 24 planted both sweet potatoes in cassava tw 20 planted both maize in cassava 9 planted all the three crops so we are going to start with 9 so 9 planted all the three crops this is the first number that we are going to put in our Venn diagram so the are uh, 9 planted all the uh, three crops so we are going to put 9 since uh, this part is where uh, maize, potatoes, and cassava is intersecting, then we are going to go to uh, we are going to go to 
uh, the number of farmers that planted both maize and uh, and uh, potatoes there. So let us check that. So we have 14 planted both maize and sweet potatoes. So 14 planted both uh, maize and sweet potatoes. So we have 14 there. So 14 planted both maize and uh, sweet potatoes. But here we know that the number uh, of farmers that planted all the three crops were nine so to find the number there we are going to say 14 minus 9 we're going to have five then we're going to look at the number of farmers that planted both sweet potatoes and cassava let us check that so sweet potatoes and cassava so 24 planted both sweet potatoes and cassava so 24 so we're going to say 24 minus 9 that's going to be 15 so we're going to put our 15 then we're going to find the number of farmers that planted both maize and cassava let's check that so the number of farmers that planted both maize and cassava so 20 planted both maize and cassava so we have 20 there and we're going to say 20 minus 9 and we're going to have 11 then from that we're going to find the number of farmers that planted maize only, sweet potatoes only, and cassava only. So we're going to start with maize. Let us try to check maize uh, in the question. So uh, 44 farmers planted maize. So 44 farmers planted maize. And that means that there are some farmers that planted all the three crops there are some farmers that planted both maize and, po and sweet potatoes and where there were some farmers that planted both maize and cassava so to find the number of farmers that only planted maize we're going to we're going to say uh, 44 minus open bracket 5 plus 9 plus 11 so when you punch that on a calculator we're going to have 19 so we're going to put our 19 there and for the sweet potatoes we have 32 planted sweet potatoes so 32 so 32 there so we can say 32 minus we're going to have 5 plus 9 plus 15 and our answer there we're going to have three so the farmers that only planted sweet potatoes we have three there then for cassava let us try to check cassava in the equation uh, for cassava 37 planted cassava 37 so we have that uh, seven minus so we're going to have that seven minus 15 there then plus nine plus 11 our answer there is going to be 2 so we can put our 2 there then let us look at the other thing that we've been given in the question and the question lead, uh, reads uh, at the end here 6 did not plant any of these crops so 6 did not plant any of these crops so we're going to put our 6 they are outside uh, these sets so that means we have answered Roman numeral 1, which states draw the Venn diagram. Uh, Roman numeral 2, how many farmers? Uh, how many farmers A were at this uh, farming block? So how many farmers were at this uh, farming block? So Roman numeral 2, then A. Uh, the question 
uh, says how many farmers we are, we are at the farming block. So we are going to add all the numbers there that we have in our Venn diagram. So we can say 19 plus 5 plus 3 plus 9 plus 15 plus 11 then plus 2 plus 6 let me just counter check that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and uh, the total number there it's a uh, 70 so 70 farmers were at the farming block then b planted maize only so the number of farmers that planted maize only so we're just going to get uh the number that we have in the venn diagram as a 19 there so i can just write this here so b uh the number of farmers that planted maize only we have 19 farmers Then C planted two different crops. So the number of farmers that planted two different crops. Uh, and for us to find that answer, we are going to add the number of farmers that planted maize and sweet potatoes, the number of farmers that planted maize and cassava, and the number of farmers that planted sweet potatoes and cassava. So we have uh, 5, 15, and 11. So we are going to add 5, 15, and 11. So I see there we're going to have uh, 15 plus 5 plus 11. And the answer there is 31 farmers. So we'll continue looking at uh, section A. Uh, so today we have looked at question 1. So if you have any questions, please ask in the group. I'll meet you next time. Peace.